Marta? Is it tasty? Yeah, very much. But I won't give you. Okay, my magic wand would give me. Oh, mine is better. There is no smoke in yours. Smoke? See, the smoke is coming out. Oh, this is gas. Gas? What is gas? Okay, let me tell you something. All things in the world exist in three forms. These are solid, liquid, and gas, or air. See, this is liquid. And see this cup? This is solid. And the smoke is coming out of your cup is gas. Uh, I don't understand. Solid, liquid, gas. My magic wand would show this. See, here are three forms of water. Can you tell? Yes, this is solid. Oh, this is liquid. And this is gas. Do you want to see the difference among solid, liquid and gas? Yes, yes. But how? Let's become very small and see these things from inside. Let's first enter the solid. Oh, what are these small, small things? These are small lumps. Everything in the world is made of small molecules. Oh, in Greek, small is moles, lumps is coals, so small lumps is called molecules. In Greek language, small is moles, lumps in coals, so small lump is called molecules. Oh, it is very tight here. I can't even move my hands. Molecules in solid are very close to each other. And so, they have less space to move. That is why they move very slowly. Now I know. They are very tightly packed. That is why they have a definite shape. Now, let us move into liquid. Aha! Here is a lot of space. Yes, molecules in liquid are away from each other. That is why they are able to move fast. Oh, they are not tightly packed. So they can go in any container and would take that container's shape. Hmm. Eh, eh, liquid molecules are apart and they, they take container shape. Let's see how liquid changes shape. See? I was right. You put liquid in any container and it would take that shape, right? <laughs> yes, you're right, genius boy. Let's enter the gas now. Aha! Here molecules are apart from each other. And see how fast they are moving. That is why they don't have a shape. Molecules are far apart and gases don't have a shape. Let's again see all forms of matter. So, this is solid. Yes, that is why it has a definite shape. In your hands, water is in liquid form. Yes, and it takes the shape of the container like if I pour it in the glass, it would take the shape of the glass. Let's see again how molecules move in solids, liquids and gases. Oh, now I can tell. This is solid like spoon. And it is liquid like juice. And this is gas like in a balloon. Yes, you're right. Let me note down all these things. So you're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. <coughs>
It also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children.